This higher tier physics section is about the Earth and beyond. It covers the evolution of the universe and how stars evolved. Our Sun and Solar System is just a tiny part of a whole universe that evolved over billions and billions of years. These next clips explain how scientists think it all came about. As you watch, make a note of the key stages in the evolution of the universe. Time and space began with a big bang. But the early universe was nothing like what we know today. For hundreds of thousands of years, the temperature was so high that even atoms could not exist. The particles that would go on to make them seethed in a fiery state called a plasma. All the matter in the universe began an explosion outwards that continues to this day. Even now, space itself is still stretching. Eventually, the universe cooled down to a few thousand Celsius. Atoms began to form, and virtually all the universe existed as a gas, hydrogen. But the Big Bang was uneven, and in places, gravity began pulling the gas together. Over the next billion years, so much hydrogen gathered in some regions that conditions were right for a nuclear reaction, and the first stars began to shine. The first giant stars only lasted a few million years before they exploded, seeding space with dust. This real picture shows the Eagle Nebula. It's a gigantic cloud of cosmic dust. It is lit from behind by the light from hot stars. In the dark, bubbly clouds, astronomers believe that stars and planetary systems are being born. Our solar system would fit in the tip of this dark finger. Indeed, it formed in a place very like this. Over billions of years, gravity pulled the dust together in a spinning disk around the early sun. Lighter materials spun off to the edge and went on to form the giant gassy planets. Nearer the center, the rocky worlds like Earth took shape. Because it formed by recycling the ashes of earlier stars, Everything in the solar system is second-hand. Our sun, our earth, even our own bodies are made from the dust of dying stars. In time, like all stars, our sun will also run out of nuclear fuel. It will swell up and engulf the inner planets, possibly including Earth. More massive stars explode to be recycled once again but our star will end its life as a tiny, dark ball of ash. That's the end of the 